So if you're a Canon RF user and you're wondering whether you can use Sigma EF mount glass on your Canon RF camera, we're going to find out. This is a Canon DSLR. So to give you a quick recap, this is a lens mount which Canon have been using since 1987 on their cameras. So DSLR cameras and there's a whole range of lenses available, many of which Sigma make. So in the last few years, Canon have launched a new lens mount and that's what we see here on the Canon RF system of cameras. So these are mirrorless cameras and the lens mount is in fact slightly different on them. They look very similar, but they're actually slightly different. So EF mount lenses cannot natively go onto this camera. However, Canon themselves do make an adapter. I've got one right here, which will allow you to use EF mount lenses on RF bodies. So this is what we call a pass-through adapter. So as you can hopefully see there, there's, there's no lenses involved in this, no glass inside it. It's relatively simple. What this does is change one lens mount into another lens mount. And according to Canon themselves, there's no loss in performance when using one of these. So what this does is open up the big opportunity to use a whole range of Sigma lenses on Canon RF bodies now. So let's go take a look and see which lenses you can use with this. Okay, so here they all are. These are the 21 lenses that are currently available from our global vision range in Canon EF mount. So a really wide range of lenses here, lots of different focal lengths covering everything from 14 millimeter all the way up to 600 millimeter. So you really do have everything for any kind of photography that you want to have a go at. Every single one of these lenses, they work absolutely fantastically on the RF bodies. They will still meter correctly. The autofocus works really well. The image stabilization works. So what we're going to do today is put them through the paces and really test out, especially the autofocus uh, with things like the eye detect that you've got on these cameras as well. So we've got some really great options here from each of the three global vision lines. Out of these options, we've got things like the 14 millimeter f1.8. So this is an incredible lens for the likes of astrophotography, really popular with landscape photographers as well, who are looking for an ultra wide angle lens with full frame coverage, but a really bright aperture as well. We've got what we can all, almost call classics like the 50 millimeter f1.4. So this is one of the earlier art series lenses. It's got almost a cult following at this point because it's one of the highest resolving 50 millimeter lenses on the market incredible image quality, uh, really popular for whether it's fashion, a little bit of portraiture, or general use photography. But then we've got some of the more staple lenses as well, such as the 2470. So again, an art series lens, a constant 2.8 aperture throughout the range, but you've got professional build quality, professional optical quality out of this as well. So it's a real Swiss army knife, so to speak, of a lens, which is ideal for a whole range of situations. So the process of changing the lenses when you're using them on an RF body with the adapter isn't really any different to normal. Uh, you've still got a lens release switch on the adapter there. So that lens just comes off exactly the same as it would do if it was going onto a Canon EF body. Let's put the back cap on there. And then as for putting a new lens on, you literally match up your dots, put the lens on like you would do straight onto the camera body. And there we go, ready to go shoot. So let's go take some photos. Okay, so we're here at the cliff top now, and we're just gonna walk down to one of the viewing platforms and have a look and see what different birds we can see. I've got the 150 to 600 millimeter contemporary lens right here. So it's one of our most popular lenses, absolutely ideal for wildlife photography and birds. So we're gonna see what we come across, try out the autofocus and see how it keeps up with some birds in flight. Okay, so we're here on the viewing platform now, and this time of year, there's not quite the variety of the birds that you might see in the summer months at Bempton Clift, but we've still got quite a lot of gannets going around, which is gonna be a really nice test for the uh, eye detect autofocus on this camera. I've got the Canon R6 here, which is well known for having a really good autofocus system. So let's have a look and see, and see how it works. So I've just got a gannet coming in now and looking through the viewfinder i've got the shutter half pressed down and the eye detect is locking on straight away actually so the focus points are 
grouping around the bird itself. It seems to be locking on perfectly. And obviously just doing a quick review on the screen on the back. Yeah, it certainly looks sharp enough. Yeah, it is, it's really impressive actually when you're looking through the viewfinder and the autofocus box around the birds is kind of shrinking, expanding as they're moving as well. And to be honest, unless, well, apart from the fact that we know we're using it with an adapter at the moment, you probably wouldn't realize that you were if you were just looking at what I can see through the viewfinder right now. It's just working absolutely flawlessly. Okay, so I'm just in one of the fields of grass by the, uh, by the cliffs here. I'm just having to play around with the 50mm f1.4 art series lens, just picking out a few of the little details, seeing as there's not many birds at the moment. And it's actually really impressive just how quick and responsive the focusing is. I mean, hopefully you can hear it here when I'm jumping from the foreground to the background, just how quickly it's locking on with the focus. But the great thing about using the adapter on the R6 with this lens is it's a really highly resolving lens. So it's well known as being one of the best 50 millimeter lenses available on the market. And it's picking out a lot of the tiny little details here in these seed pods. And it's just an amazing experience using the lens on this camera. You've got this beautiful big EVF and the details it's picking out is just fantastic. It's working really nicely on here as well. I've stopped the lens down just a little bit, so I'm shooting at f1.6 at the moment rather than 1.4. And it's, it's capturing those images that we really associate with the 50mm 1.4 art. You've got you know that incredible detail on your subject, but then you've also got beautiful out of focus areas as well. It just renders beautifully, so it's great to be using this lens on, on a more modern camera body. Okay, so the test that we were doing before was just single point autofocus. So it's actually relatively easy for both the camera and the lens. Now, hopefully what you can see now is the face and eye detect working. So when we're in constant autofocus with them enabled in this camera, you're actually getting about 80% frame coverage. So as I'm moving around the frame, we should see that the box is showing that it's locked onto my face and more importantly, my eye as I'm speaking. And that should be kicking in as I'm moving closer and further away as well. So with a lens like the 50mm 1.4 Art, it's very, very precise focusing. So having these features available on the RF camera bodies actually make it easier than ever to focus. Okay, so there you have it. Hopefully that gives you some idea of how the Sigma EF mount glass is going to perform on a Canon RF body. So if you are a Canon RF user, it's well worth taking these lenses into consideration. You've got a really broad range of focal lengths, everything from 14 millimeter at the wide angle through to 600 millimeter at the telephoto end. Uh, and that's covering lenses from the art, contemporary and sport series lenses as well. As you can see, the image quality holds up really, really nicely. You've got no loss in optical performance whatsoever when using them on these bodies with the adapter. The autofocus has been absolutely fantastic. And these lenses are really affordably priced as well. So this 150 to 600 millimeter contemporary lens that I've been using today comes in at less than a thousand pounds. So well worth taking into consideration if you're a Canon RF user.